So you might be like me where you want to use Facebook, you want to use Twitter, you want to use LinkedIn for business, for social purposes, but you don't want to be sucked in and let the algorithm decide how you spend your time on that site. I really hope you like this video because I just deleted all of my footage from a course that I've been creating. <laughs> ah! Anyway, I just deleted all the course, the video from a website management course that I've been creating so that my memory card wasn't full. I just realized I hadn't offloaded it yet, which is totally my mistake. I ain't mad. Anyway, in this video, we're going to talk about what's going on over here. And we're going to specifically not talk about these videos. We're going to talk about YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn a little bit, and Instagram. I have a crazy ADD mind <laughs> and I'm constantly getting distracted by all kinds of stuff. So of course, social media, which is built to distract you and suck you in at any given moment is really bad news for me. I made a video a long time ago talking about identifying social media addiction and what to do about it. And even those things that I talked about in that video don't necessarily work for some of the situations I find myself in now. So you might be like me where you want to use Facebook, you want to use Twitter, you want to use LinkedIn for business or to stay up to date with specific people for social purposes, but you don't want to be sucked in and let other people and the algorithm decide how you spend your time on that site. What I have found is pretty cool. This specifically works on Google Chrome. There's a similar thing on Firefox. Any web browser that has extensions, there's pretty much usually an extension that will do this. And then I also at the end have some tips for websites that don't have extensions that are necessary to, to block the news feed or the feeds like Instagram, where obviously even the desktop app, there's no way to block it. But I do have a solution to at least get it off my phone but still be able to post and still be able to respond to people because you can't post from the desktop app. Long story short, that's a cool thing. That'll be at the end. First of all, my biggest time suck has always been YouTube. First solution was delete it off my phone. I don't need to look at YouTube videos on my phone. I can just wait until I get to my desktop. Second thing is when I'm on YouTube, which I have to be on YouTube because I'm making YouTube videos, which obviously I don't have to make YouTube videos, but I also, I do some work for a YouTuber, sometimes some other YouTubers too, and I kind of need it. And sometimes I need to like know how to do something in After Effects that I don't know how to do, and YouTube's the best place to find those tutorials. Now the issue is normally that the home page just completely sucks you in. But look what's going on here. Nothing. Also works to block the trending tab. It blocks basically every feed on YouTube. The downside is it does block the subscriptions tab, but even that was a huge distraction for me. I had a, a plugin or an extension at one point that was just blocking the home page, and I just quickly click over to the subscription tab and my mind was like, Give me something to distract myself. This has worked enough that now when I go to YouTube, that's not the first thing I'm looking for. At first, I found myself going there and quickly being like, oh no, what do I do now? But now, you know, if I do want to watch a new video by a specific person, they will come up down here with the little blue dot that shows that they have a new video that I haven't watched yet. So let's say we want to click on Roberto. He has a new video. And we, you see, it blocks his homepage, but it does allow us to go to the videos tab and I can watch whatever videos I want to. The really cool thing is once I click up the new video, we'll give him a we'll give him a better freeze frame. There we go. That makes him look sophisticated. The cool thing is there is no side feed over here to suck you into more videos. So it's like, I wanna watch this video and I just wanna watch this video. I wanna watch another video, I just wanna watch that video. You can still use YouTube and not have all of these distractions. And now how does this work? This works by installing a extension on your browser. So this works, like I said, on Firefox and Google Chrome. It'll also work on other browsers that you can install extensions or plugins or whatever they call it. So what you want to do is go to the Chrome Web Store or the Firefox plugin thing and look up, block the YouTube feed. Now, the other ones are called eradicators and I'll show you that in a minute. But the cool thing here is there's a couple different ones. I've tried them out and this is my favorite one. This one does the best job of just deleting everything that might distract you on YouTube, but still allowing you to use the parts of YouTube that you want to use. There is a YouTube distraction free that 
just didn't work as well when I tried it. So this is the one that I would try and I'll uh, link these down in the description if you're looking for them. Now the next one is of course the almighty Facebook that just destroys people's productivity. Well, as you can see, there's no timeline to distract me anymore. The cool thing is not only does this delete the timeline, it also gives me a nice little quote here. It makes me really wanna start working. This also doesn't block personal pages. So, you know, I can go to someone else's page, like let's go to Ryan's page here. I can see what he's posted. I can look up specific people and follow whatever they're doing. I still get notifications, probably more than I want, but even that I can just, you know, do one of these and say, only get notifications from friends in this group and turn off notifications like this. Boom, less notifications. I can get messages, friend requests, all that good stuff. And this one is called the Newsfeed Eradicator for Facebook. Again, I tried quite a few different ones of these. This is definitely the best one. It works the best. It doesn't slow down your computer. The thing with the YouTube one, any of the YouTube ones that I found was it kind of like keeps trying to load and it's blocking it somewhere in the script there. So the issue is, is that if you sit there on that home page where it's trying to load or a page that there's something trying to load, it'll slow down your computer after a while. However, uh, the Facebook one doesn't do that. So, or at least this one doesn't. So again, I'll link that down in the description. I also recently had a similar problem with Twitter. So I found one that works with Twitter that's just called Twitter Newsfeed Eradicator. Again, there's a few different ones, but I love it. I love the, uh, I don't know if you can see this, the logo. <laughs> it's the, it's the, the Twitter bird, but without its mouth. Yeah, that is cool. This allows me to still go to my own page, see my posts. I can also go to my notifications and respond to notifications, go to my messages and stuff like that. And I think, yes, <laughs> I can also see other people's posts as well. So the one that I have on LinkedIn, I still haven't found a really great one on LinkedIn. So I'm still looking for a good one on LinkedIn. There's a, there's a LinkedIn news, news feed eradicator. It only works if you first go to the web page. So if you refresh the page or you click to something else and then come back to the main page, it doesn't work anymore. And it also doesn't let you post. So the thing that's nice about these other things is you can still post YouTube videos. You're just not getting sucked into videos you don't want. You can still post tweets you're just not getting in, sucked into tweets that you don't want. You're, you can still post on Facebook, but you're not getting it sucked into posts that you don't want. Now, how can we go about posting to Instagram without getting sucked into things that we don't want? So if we go over to the Instagram desktop, which has been getting pretty cool, uh, now they allow you to see a lot of stuff on there. They still don't allow you to check your DMs. Oh, come on, Instagram, get on it. But it does allow you to do quite a bit. The thing is, they still don't let you post, which is a good thing. I think it's kind of cool that it just allows you to post from the app. So I can't make a post, but funny enough, I haven't logged into my Instagram on my phone. Actually, I deleted it off of my phone after this post. And I you used to not be able to schedule Instagram posts. If you use Buffer or Hootsuite or anything like that, you used to not be able to do that. The great thing is now you can. I would suggest using Hootsuite because it's free and it's pretty easy to use and I've tried some other things and this one works the best. A lot of scheduling apps won't let you post directly to Instagram. It is a weird thing where it'll just send you a reminder, so usually to your phone, which is so it's better than nothing, but it'll just send you a reminder when it's time to post that. That's because until literally like a month ago or maybe a couple months ago, Instagram didn't allow these apps to have control or access to the back end of Instagram. Now they got rid of all kinds of other features that they can use with Instagram, but they added this one, which I don't understand that move at all, but I don't care because it's awesome. I completely deleted Instagram off my phone. If I didn't even wanna respond, the only reason I have it logged in on my desktop is so that I can check my notifications and respond to comments. And as you can see, I ha only have one comment. <laughs> but the cool thing is you can still go to Instagram, you can check your notifications, and if you really want to, you can check the feed because there's no way to block it yet. But you can delete it off your phone because you can post with Hootsuite to Instagram, which how this works is you just sign up for a free account they give you, I don't remember if it's three or six accounts you can connect for free. You can only make 30 posts, so you can only schedule out 30 posts, but that's still a lot. I don't even use it to schedule out posts, really. What I use it for is to do new posts, so I can post from my desktop. Now, the cool thing is Hootsuite also has a phone app, so you can download the app and have that instead of your Instagram app. So basically, that's how I have cut down on the amount of time I waste. I can't even tell you how much 
freaking time I've saved on YouTube videos. At one point, I was probably spending three or four hours a day just getting sucked into the matrix of YouTube. And now I maybe spend 20 minutes because I'm only looking up specific videos. And if even, there's definitely days now that I don't watch any videos. So I'm hoping this can be helpful for you. I've talked to a few friends of mine and they've said that they really wanted to learn how to do this so it's really easy and and these extensions if you've never installed an extension before all you do is when you go to these pages and like i said the the links are in the description um let me just go to one that i don't have installed all you do is hit add to chrome and it'll automatically add it and then it'll be up here and so it, when it's active it'll be highlighted i don't want this anymore so i can easily just right click on it say remove from Chrome and remove it and it's gone. It's that easy. So that's pretty cool. I think that it's a super huge time saver. I love being able to use social media. I love being able to communicate with people from all over the world. It's such an amazing, magical thing. I love being able to look up any piece of information I want on the internet and on YouTube, but I don't love the algorithms. But I do love you, so thank you for watching and I hope to see you in another video. Bye. <laughs> I'm such a dork.